What's going on guys, WhiteFox1225 here and today we'll be talking about the DLC roadmap for Kingdom Come Deliverance that was just revealed today. It shows all the future content coming to the game, both paid content and free updates. So today we'll be going over all of that and talking about what these DLCs have in store for us. Thankfully Warhorse included a timeline of when this stuff will be announced so I'm just going to go in order and let's jump right in with the first DLC. It's called From the Ashes and it's going to be released sometime this summer. It looks like a DLC focused on rebuilding a town that was destroyed in the storyline, and that town will definitely be Pripslavich. It was already said that they planned a quest where you would rebuild the town, but it got cut for time reasons. To add to the evidence, there's also an image they showed on the roadmap, which is clearly Pripslavich when you put them side by side. Now a lot of people were thinking this might be Scalitz, and I could see why, but historically that just doesn't make sense because Scalitz was actually never rebuilt, or at least it wasn't rebuilt in the time of Kingdom Come. So the same time this DLC is released, we'll also get a hardcore mode added to the game, coming free to all players. The game is already pretty hardcore, so to speak, at least in my opinion. So it'll be interesting to see what they add with this mode. My guess is mostly combat will be even more deadly, and maybe you'll have to eat and sleep just a tad bit more or something like that. Later in the summer, we're also getting a new video slash movie showing the making of the game, which personally, I'm pretty pumped to see. And then after that, the next DLC will come in the fall, and it will be called The Amorous Adventures of Bold Sir Hans Koppen. The description is, equip your Cupid's arrow and aid a friend in delicate matters. So it would seem that we'll be playing as Henry, helping Hans Koppen with his love life, which should be a good time. I think all the quests involving those two are always pretty great. After that, in late 2018, we'll get a free tournament mode, which was promised in the Kickstarter for all backers. It does seem like it'll be free for everyone though, originally it was intended to be a mode where you could just mess around in combat with different weapons and different enemy types just to challenge yourself. I'm not sure if that's still how it's going to be in the final product, but you can't really go wrong with a free DLC. Then the last DLC we'll get in 2018 is the Band of the Bastards, which will require you to purchase it. The description for the DLC is simply stand your ground on the battlefield and no other details are really known about it. Just from looking at the picture and the description, it seems like maybe it's a new conflict with bandits or invaders, something like that. Either way, hopefully we get some new huge battles and some epic sieges because that was personally my favorite part of the base game. Then at the end of 2018, the last thing we'll get is a Combat Academy video. No details have been released about this, but I'm guessing it's either a video showing you how to hone your skills in game or a video showing the HEMA style of fighting that the combat is based off of. The final DLC to be released will come in early 2019 and it will be called A Woman's Lot. This is almost certainly a playable Teresa main character, and since the description is see things from a whole new perspective, I don't think it will be new questing content so to speak, just that you'll now be able to play the whole game as Teresa undoubtedly with new dialogue options and things like that. This isn't listed as free, but since it was a Kickstarter stretch goal, I'm sure all Kickstarter backers will get it free of charge. Now last, but certainly not least, I know everyone is really pumped for this one. Sometime in 2019, mod support will be added to the game, at least for PC. They have not confirmed or unconfirmed mods coming to PS4 and Xbox One, so that is still a possibility. But this is probably the most requested thing I've heard about the game, so it is very awesome to hear that mods are definitely coming to PC. And I'm sure once it is released, lots of neat new content will come soon afterwards. And that just about does it for the DLC. It's a good amount, and hopefully after this, they'll get working on a new sequel. I'll be playing all of this stuff for sure. Let me know in the comments which DLC you're looking forward to the most. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like. I'm always covering RPGs like Kingdom Come, The Elder Scrolls, and more. So if you want to see that content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so, so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.